What is up guys, today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do the spin effect on your footage without having to use a gimbal and a comparison between using the gimbal and actually using an effect in Final Cut. Alright guys, before you launch Final Cut Pro, you're going to want to go to the bottom of this video and download this application. It's called Alex 4D Smooth Move. So as you see, the first shot is a beautiful drone shot. We're not flying in FPV mode, we're just getting a steady smooth shot and then we're going to add this, drop it over our footage. We are going to adjust it just a tiny bit. So we're going to go into the negatives by pulling down on the circle on the right hand. So you have your center point and then you have that right handle right there. You're going to want to move it just a tiny bit further down. If you want it to spin to the right and we're just going to go up to like a hundred or 10 degrees you don't want to go too crazy because you're going to want to you're going to have to scale in i'm already scaled in on this image to 122 percent this is fine because it's 4k that's not an issue let's go to the next footage though the next footage is in 1080p at 120 frames per second i filmed this on the crane and when you see me make this movement here, you see at the bottom, you get some bars from the footage that's underneath this clip and you want to avoid that. So you're going to have to scale in, but you don't want to scale in too much. So you want to keep the movement subtle because when scaling into 1080p, you're losing some of that crispiness of the image. The image quality is, is not going to be there if it's not 4K. If you're filming in 4K and just posting in 1080p, then that's perfect. You can add a lot more movement and have some fun with this. For the next shot, we are going to do a Ken Burns and a spin. And I just want to show you this because I'm already walking backwards with the crane, but I want to show you how you can take a steady image, just a plain boring tripod shot and add to movement being creative, doing zooming out and spinning at the same time to bring the image to life. This takes a little bit more of adjustments. You're gonna have to adjust your Ken Burns several times to get it right. So at no point during the Ken Burns, you see any black bars popping up on the lower or upper part of the image. And in the final shot, I'm gonna show you how you use you do it with the crane. So with the crane, you're going to want to use your crane. Uh, if you have a Zion crane, you can use it on follow me mode. And when you're in follow me mode, you can literally use the joystick to create the spinning move. So you're going to grab your crane. You're going to get the shot pulling out, spinning the camera all the way from one side to the other. So you're gonna start tilted right and go all the way left. Using the crane has a huge advantage because you don't have to crop into your image. You don't use any image quality, but I do recommend you get this shot several times going both ways, left and right, in and out. So you have options when editing and choosing your footage, something that matches the footage prior to it. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial video. We're going to be creating a lot more tutorial videos coming up. If you like this video and learned something today, make sure to give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the page, I invite you to subscribe. We have a lot of more content coming soon and we'll see you guys next time.